Have you heard of the show Love, Death, and Robot? It captivates the masses with its bizarre yet meaningful plot. And another thing that cannot be ignored is its unique intro, simple but with a strong sense of design, which adds a lot of credit to this series. And I try to imitate a similar slot machine effect with the video pop vlogger. And it turns out it's pretty easy to make it work. So all I need here is your short attention span. Well, without further ado, let's get started. Start a video pro vlogger. And if you haven't installed that in your computer, free download it through the link we put in the description box down below. Create a new project. Here I have prepared over 10 icon materials. Import them together into the software. Next, we click on this icon. Add a few overlay tracks. Then, drag one of the icons we want to use into the video track. Find a transform in the inspector. Scale it down to 0.01. Then, use show or high layer rectangle to put it at the top of the screen. Drag in another icon to the overlay track. Adjust the scale in the inspector to be the same as the first icon. Then adjust position to align it below the first icon. Make sure they remain in line. We then adjust its X position to the same value as the first one. Next, we quickly add more icons to the timeline and adjust them in turn. Finally, we can get this image with icons of the same size vertically aligned. Then. We use a camera icon at the top of the preview window to create a snapshot. Import a snapshot into the software. Drag it to the video track. Adjust the duration. Click on the crop icon in the toolbar. Here we select the 5 to 8 size to turn it into a vertical shape. Click apply to apply adjustment. In the main interface, use the shortcut Ctrl and C to copy it and paste it on the overlay track and overlay track 1 respectively. Next, you can adjust the position of each of the three images in the preview window. When you are done, you will get this arrangement. Now we will start by selecting the first image the rightmost column in the screen. Click on the motion icon to enter the motion editor. Tap here to add keyframe in the first frame. Then, select the frame control as custom. Adjust the range and the position of the frame here. After that, let's check out the final result. The third column is the slowest in rotation movement. Thus, we drag the playhead to the last frame. Click on Add Keyframe here again to keep the rotation to the end. Let's move the box down to this icon we wish to stay on. And in the preview here, we can see that the rotation is too constant and even. But don't worry, we can get that fixed. Select the second keyframe. Change the speed curve here. Click Apply to go back to the main screen. Similarly, we click on the second image to go to the motion editor and make similar edits. Note here, the rotation of the second column would stop before the third column. The second keyframe forward a little bit to make it stop earlier. Click on Add Keyframe again in the last frame so that the screen could stay on this icon after rotation is over. Click Apply to apply adjustment. And next, we use the same method to edit the third image. And move the second keyframe forward as well, so 
so that it stops rotating before the second column. Then add a keyframe to the last frame to keep the image in place. And that's it. Let's see the final result. Well, what do you think of it? Isn't this slot motion effect very interesting? Give it a try in your own video. Anyway, don't forget to click that subscribe button to the subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.